what is going on everybody so i just finished seeing shazam 2 and wow what a mess i am not trying to sound like a hater and i'm not trying to sound like negative but i am going to tell you exactly how it is all right i'm just going to talk about the main highlights because i'm gonna be honest with you the first movie was a lot better than the second one all right the second movie let's get right into it make sure to hit the subscribe drop a comment and all that good stuff all right where do i begin all right the movie is based off and it's focused about an apple, all right? There's an apple that's dark. And apparently this apple that those uh, three ladies are after, um, I don't even remember their names. They get it. The Asian one, she's bad. She just wants, she's the evil one. She ends up killing her mom, the old lady. And then the other one, the young girl, she's just disguised among humans so she's a god also and the mom doesn't die when the lady i think her name was athena or something like that she ends up killing her with the dragon all right now this is what it's, this is a mess completely the whole dcu has just become a mess and it just gets worse she ends up fighting shazam in a parking lot with the dragon all right and it doesn't stop there there's more when she plants it in the stadium, I guess the Philadelphia stadium or something, um, the roots come out and it looks like Groot. And that's what this big old tree just comes out and it just starts like, I guess, giving birth. Like it, it just goes into aliens mode. You got the little eggs and then the humans are looking at it and then just from the eggs, they instantly burst out. You got different characters. There's a Cyclops. There's a half human, half dead a half human half looking creature with wings there's like a minotaur or one of those what is it the ones with the horns and half like a horse but not the whole body is just the legs um there's uh, like a, a tiger with horns and wings and he spits fire and it just gets more and more foolish and then the little girl the young one they all lose their powers all right and Shazam's the only one that has the powers that, you know, with the stick because of the wizard and the wizard can't get it back. He's locked up. The ladies force him to put the stick back together from the first one so he can give him, I guess, powers again or whatever. And next thing you know, Shazam fights uh, the Asian lady and it just becomes into like a fairy tale even more because the little girl, she's like, oh, to this pen that just writes itself it's literally like harry potter style um she she asked the the pencil oh what are the weak what are they scared of you know what are monsters scared of and then the wizards like unicorns yep they actually bring out a unicorn and the girl they, there's heavy marketing in this movie they literally throw a skittles ad in there because the unicorn comes out the girl grabs the skittles and throws it to the unicorn because he's about to like stab her with that horn but you know it's a, a it has to be kid friendly she when she throws the skittles the horse starts eating it and she's like taste the rainbow it's literally an ad this movie is just full of ads uh was her mary mary the, the shazam one she ends up drinking a gatorade um you see a hampton in a hotel the, like the marketing is heavy it, it's just literally a movie filled with nonsense it, it just doesn't make sense shazam is in the movie but not as much as you expect it they're focused more on mary they're focused more on the family um and then the family finds out you know the adopted parents that they're the shazams and stuff and it, it literally is this is a ripoff of marvel it really is it's just a disaster right and i'll get right to it shazam dies at the end and that cameo that you see with Wonder Woman, she's in there for like probably like about a good three minutes. And she's not headless. She actually appears in it. And the the wizard is like, well, without another god, we cannot bring Shazam back. And boom, all of a sudden, Wonder Woman comes out. And they play her music from like Batman vs. Superman, but like a remix, which that was cool. I like that. And, you know, she's like, oh, you know, she starts talking about like little wisdom and stuff like that. And then she grabs the stick. And she just impales it into the ground where Shazam is literally buried in. And he comes back. And everything is a joke in this movie. Literally, when his arm comes out, the kid, I think Freddy, he's the one who's like, oh, it's a zombie. 
And everything is just a joke and a lot of sarcasm in this movie. And then when he comes out, you know, he does the same thing we saw in the trailer where, like, hey, call me. And she's like, stick to saving the world or something like that, kid, or, or, or something. And then they don't mention Superman, but they kind of hint at him where, like, you know, like the other character, they say. Um, but they talk a lot about Wonder Woman. This is clearly James Gunn. Like, his hand is all over this movie. And, you know, you could see it because the end credit. They literally bring James Gunn's wife and the other guy from Peacemaker and they're walking towards Shazam and they're like, oh, you know, Waller told us that he's kind of immature, but he's a he's a god and we need him. And then all of a sudden Shazam's there shooting with lightning, some like bottles or something. And then they tell him, hey, look, you want to join the Justice Society? Oh, um, and then he's like, Justice Lee? Like, no, Justice Society. And he's like, oh, but I want to be in the team where Wonder Woman's at. And they're like, what's your obsession with Wonder Woman? He's like, I want to be on that team with the Justice League. So I, I see what they're trying to do. They're trying to force it, but at the same time connect everything. But it just, it, it just, it's, it's a mess, honestly. And it's just a complete disaster, honestly. This is really, really bad. And if this is the new route where DC is heading... I do not want nothing with it. I'm not interested anymore. This is sad. And they have a scene, like I posted, where you see the wizard. Well, in that scene, Shazam is on a date with Wonder Woman. And then he's like, hey, you know, like, I don't know. He's just, it's just very cringe. And then all of a sudden, the wizard appears on Wonder Woman's he um, head. So she's headless. But then they show the wizard on Wonder Woman's body. And he's like, Shazam, we got to go, you know, like, because of the, the whole thing that's happening with the ladies that they're trying to take, you know, the powers and they're just destroying everything. It, it's just like I said, it's just completely a mess. And it's very disappointing. I give the movie a four out of ten. And that's just me being kind, honestly, because this was just garbage. This movie was not needed. It, it was not. It, it just it's it's just sad, honestly. And if you enjoyed it, that's you. But me personally, it's embarrassing. It's embarrassing as a fan. And it feels... The the music was good. There's parts where the music feels exactly like Marvel. Like, literally, like it's about to... Dun, 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 dun. But it's just like, what the hell? Like, you can tell there was so many people in the creative side. And they were like, well, let's do this. Let's add this. It's just a whole clusterfuck of ideas. And they're just like, you know what? Let's roll with it. Who cares? Let's just go with it. When the unicorns come out, not once do they fight. They literally just ride the unicorns to go and scare those monsters. And that's it. They don't, it's pointless. They just threw that in there for nothing. You know, so $100 million for the budget. If they make their money back, I don't know how. Because honestly, this movie was a real big letdown. It's sad to say that, but this is what it's come to. And like I said, it, it's just not good. You know, but if you saw it. Are you going to see it? Drop your comments, all that good stuff. And as always, make sure to hit the subscribe. And until next time.